Okay, we've got another Dune Imperium Uprising game. This one with the legendary Black Shadow himself. Looks like we are going second, so we will be picking third. Looks like uh, fourth position. Decided to pick up Lady Margot Fenring. Oh, looks like the cards are better quality now, too. Okay, the mod's getting a little bit better as we go. Let's see what uh, Red decides to pick here. Oh, looking at this opening Imperium row as well, we have some juicy cards here. Subversive Advisors, nice card. It's like a power play. Interstellar Trade is insane. We want to get that. And as uh, Public Spectacle is also very, very good. So, uh, would early reveal for this. Would like to get to this. This is the uh, best case scenario here. Uh, but yeah, we have a Lady Margot Fenring. We have a Stubborn Tuic in first position. So, they're going to early reveal for this almost assuredly. So, we should plan to try and get up to 7 Persuasion if we can. And I feel like Gurney's probably the best one to get that done with. Right? Yeah, we could go... Uh, yeah, I like the Gurney play here. See if we can get something done. Our opening objective card is the Dagger. Let's see what uh, Black Shadow likes to, is going to go here. I know Black Shadow usually has been going Gurney Halleck a lot. And it's common kind of fortune now because when I pick Gurney Halleck going before them, if they pick Paul, we block them going to the Detritus spots over and over again. So they are going to pick Princess Irulan instead. So putting them on an interesting decision here. So we're really hoping to draw faction access here. My ideal play would be deliver supplies to Research Station so I can get uh, the extra persuasion I need for Interstellar Trade. But we'll see what we get. And we get there. Beautiful. Okay. And the first combat is the Skirmish Combat for Solari and an entry card, and it has the Ornithopter symbol. So not a match for anybody. I We'll see how hard people want to go for this. I feel like we still haven't gotten to a, uh, a stable point of how hard people are going to go for these conflicts. Saban only has one um, Seek Allies in their deck now, no Diplomacy. So they are a pretty complicated leader. And they will start out with the Dune Desert Planet here. Okay. They'll grab a little bit of Spice. Probably I have to use their Ring to... Uh, uh, Haga Basin, okay. I think a common play is to use your ring, um, put a spy on green, and sell it for Solaris to try and get your early Swordmaster going. I think we have to take the water here. We take the water, then we go Reconnaissance. We put in a bunch of troops. Well, we put in three troops. How likely are we to get there? We'd have three left over. If we hit a convincing argument, that puts us at the five. And then we just have to hit one more. So we'd have to hit, not hit our Seek Allies and our Dagger. We could hit one, I guess. Uh, it's pretty unlikely, right? We can go for it. It's not super likely, but if we hit it, we feel really good about ourselves. And we know Saban's revealing early. We could also just go for the worms here. It's another play we can make. What are we at? Two, four, five. Yeah, we're not quite there yet. Yeah, I like the water play. Let's see if we can uh, hit it big. Ah, right. Eh, no, let's get worms. What am I talking about? Worms are good. And this also draws us a card, too. Dune Desert Planet. Uh, I think we'll limp in one here. Yeah, fine with that. So we are at two, three, four, five now. I think going for the research station play is just too... I feel like you miss so often, right? You hit a dagger, you hit your seek allies, you're just kind of miserable. And don't get me wrong, the um, interstellar trade is a really good card, but we don't have the contracts completed just yet anyway, so we're not in a rush. Oh, okay. Black Shadow going to play the Diplomacy. Go to Desert Tactics. Use their water. Put in three troops. Yeah, Black Shadow loves committing heavily to early combats here, which is another reason, kind of knowing your opponents, knowing whether you can go in hard. Uh, this is very concerning, seeing uh, Margot Fenring going to Assembly Hall here. It means they're pretty likely to have the Interstellar trade. We have a dagger here for Staban Tuik. Okay. They're just going to gather support, get some troops. Not bad. Not ideal, though, either, for sure. We could go Reconnaissance to Arakeen. That would put us at the four. Yeah, we still don't get there. I wonder if we just reveal here. Pretty tempted to. We could go Public Spectacle. It's such a good card. I actually think it's worth revealing for most of the time here. It's insane. If you recall the spy, yeah, it's just double bumps over and over again. And I don't really need to get the extra troop in here. So yeah, we'll reveal. It's just that good. We have one, two, three, four, five. Next card off is Overthrow. Yikes, okay. I think this is a worthwhile reveal for us. See what uh, Black Shadow does with their move. We are guaranteed to get um, Worm access next round, which is nice. And we have a pretty good power card in our deck, so I'm liking our, our chances for now. We'll uh, get everything set up on the combats. Signa Ring here for Princess Irulan. They'll take a spice. They can trash a card from hand or acquire a one cost card, and they elect to acquire the one cost card. Okay. Usually you end up seeing that with the uh, trash ability, but they are going to uh, take it. We have a Seek Allies here for blue. I wonder if they're going to go for uh, water here. Probably. Yep. They'll just go and grab the water. Set themselves up for a research station next round. 
You definitely want to have resource station water when you have nice guards like Interstellar Trade and Overthrow in the row. Oh, five reveal for red. They will grab the uh, Submersive Advisor. Unfortunately, it's not the persistent faction access they're going to want in their deck, so they're still in a little bit of trouble here. But they can uh, put a spy down when they buy this. I don't think you, yeah, you don't want to put it on a green spot. You want to save the green spots for your ring so you can turn Spice into Solari. They'll put it down on Haga Basin, which I like a lot. Turns on their passive ability, so now if anyone else goes there, they get a Spice. Yellow reveals. There's that Unserving Loyalty they just got, which gives them another troop. So they have three and a dagger. Buying another one Gauss card, okay. Getting extra guild access, never too bad. And a dangerous rhetoric comes off. Okay, now we see Blue's hand here, which I'm a little bit concerned about. We'll see what they end up having. Oh, only five. Okay. So not as bad, for sure. They end up grabbing dangerous rhetoric here. Really solid card. And hidden missive comes off, not super relevant. They will also grab a prepare the way. Get that persuasion higher. I love doing that early on when you have uh, cards like this in the row. So they have a pretty uh, high likelihood here. So uh, rewards. We get second place, two Solari and a new tree card, which is great. Shadow does get first, so they get the uh, actual thing. And our entry card is amazing. Okay, <laughs> I like where this is going. We are going first this round. Okay, not the ideal hand, but it's still good. Our move here, we have great daggers. We also have a matching combat, so we are going to go uh, fairly hard for this one. The spy is also really nice for uh, the card we received not too long ago here. So it's always going to be seek allies to frem kit, and then we can get our worms online. I like that. I like that line to play a lot for us here. We'll go frem kit. We can draw another card too, which is nice. Diplomacy, not what we wanted to see actually. Uh, but what are you gonna do? And then do we put in troops here? I think we'll hold off and wait and see because we can we can put them in at the end because we're almost always going siege to war here. We'll throw in one actually, just in case we decide to go somewhere else. Uh, actually, this gets us the other persuasion. Well, yeah, we'll just throw them both in. Why not? Because this get the daggers get us the six on reveal for our extra point there. So maybe there's a world where we elect to go for the draw and maybe hit one of these big cards. Who knows? And luckily for us, yellow can't actually get to uh, deep desert or desert tactics this round because they don't have the water. So they are not going to be able to go in on this combat like they did the last one. Although they do have two troops behind. We have a seek allies here for yellow. They are going to go to espionage. Okay. So they can get a spy down. I wonder where they put their spy here. Oh, okay, they put it on the Air Keen spot, going for double draws. I like that play, especially with good cards in the row. Looking like a Dune Desert Planet here for uh, for the blue player, Lady Margot Fenring. They'll go to Accept Contract. I'd imagine it would be the Air King Contract here, and it is. And they get to draw a card. So they're really trying to hit Persuasion for these, understandably so. Seek Allies here for red. They will go to Deliver Supplies to get a water. So they have their water back now. If we, best case scenario, most of the time we're hitting a one persuasion cost card, which would put us up to what? Two or five. Randomly, we can get up to six, maybe, which are both off of what we want anyway. So it doesn't really matter if we go for the draw here. So I think Siege to Boar is going to be our move. Get a little bit more water going. And then maybe we can do a research station next round now that we have our daggers out of our deck. I like that play. We'll get our water. We'll get our troop. Uh, do we need to commit here? I think we do. So who has uh, actions left? Yellow can't get any kind of meaningful... Well, they can get three troops in, actually, so I will put in the third one. I'd like to save my entry card if I can. And I also get an extra troop for my ring. I get uh, my maker hooks. So I do have worm access now. Now, do I put the extra one in here? I don't think so. Shadow can get in three, but they'd have to have two daggers behind, and I just I don't think they have that often enough here. I think they... I should have paid attention to how many daggers they had before. They are really telegraphing Eric Keen here, though, aren't they? They are, and that would be two card draws. Yeah, why Why risk it? I'll just throw them all in here. Shadow is really telegraphing Air Keen. And if they happened to get both of their daggers and put in the three troops, if this was any other opponent besides Shadow, I think I'm not doing it. I think it's an overcommitment a lot of the time, but in this exact scenario, I think it's worth it to just dump them all in. So, yep, here's the Air Keen play, the double draw. Increasing the likelihood of having two daggers. They only have three cards left in their deck, and I'd imagine they throw them all in here, and they do... Okay, they're going to fight us for this one. I had a feeling. I'm glad I put in that fourth troop. You got to know your opponents. We have a signet ring here for blue. They just head on over to the research station. So very scary now. They did buy um, some high persuasion cards as well. I think they got to prepare the way. So they're looking quite threatening here. Oh, are they going to put in... Everybody's going to go for this combat, I guess? Okay. Might have to use our uh, intrigue here, which is a little unfortunate. But what are you going to do? Oh, blue is pulling back some troops. I like that. And with their signaling ability, they can put a spy down. They'll put it down here. Go for some extra card draws. 
getting overthrow in this game is such a win condition. So we definitely could have went for more of a research station line this round, but actually we really couldn't have because uh, we didn't have to start it with our diplomacy. We have a Haga base in play here for red. So they're just going to take more spice, it seems. Oh, uh, yeah, they were thinking they might get the, uh, the base ability, but they do not. It has to be somebody else. But they will take the spice again. Okay, so they're just acquiring spice here. They will use their signet ring to send a spy on over to a green spot, which is fair. So they can uh, convert one spice into three solari. Bad, not bad value at all. We will reveal two daggers, putting us up to 10. We have four to buy, remembering our always smiling ability here. And I think we will take um, a tread into darkness. We don't have any other Bene Gesserit cards yet, but Hidden Missive is in the row, and we might grab a Prepare the Way. And this is just a good overall access card. It has two Persuasion as well, so it's fine for us here. See what comes off behind. Mala Pistol does not matter. We have an intelligence report here. So they get to draw another card. Do they hit it? That is the question. They don't have the Fremen Bond to deploy a troop. They do grab Interstellar Trade, though, so that's scary. So that's one power card down. And what did they actually get to here? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they got exactly there. Not quite enough for the overthrow. They grabbed the uh, big Highliner, too. So some classic uh, shadow combat play here. Ooh, Stilgar comes off. I wonder, I think you still have to go for overthrow here, but this is a really nice backup option if in case blue didn't hit it, hit their uh, their threshold. But it looks like they did here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, they get the Stilgar, which is a great consolation prize. Holy crap. They were probably really upset about this at first. But they, I mean, what were they at? Seven, I said. Yeah, they could have gotten uh, this still if Shadow didn't. So they were fine. We have a reveal of two and dagger. Okay. Uh, combat. Uh, just me and blue. Okay. Blue is grabbing their spice, so we get this combat. So we get a spy, we get two spice. Where do we want our spy? Remember, we'll be getting a double bump where we go. I think, honestly, getting Benny online isn't a bad option for us here. It gets us more spies as well. Other option would be Fremen and just really just haul ass, get the alliance. That's also a pretty funny option. Yeah, it gets us more water too. Seems pretty good. We could also go for a big card draw here. Actually, I think I like this. Yeah, it's really nice. Um, let's see here. Where is my other agent? Uh, here we go. And we flip these. Somebody do makers? Okay, I'll do them. And here is our public spectacle, the card we were very much looking forward to here. And we have a pretty high persuasion hand here, so best case scenario, maybe we grab overthrow. Also, price is no object comes into play, which is scary. Oh, sorry. Forgot to grab my troops. The combat is trade dispute. We do have worm access now as well, so a lot of different routes for us here. We're almost certainly throwing in a worm if it's available to us. We'll see what uh, Black Shadow chooses to block here. Haga Basin and Espionage are both great options. Oh, okay. We have a space-time folding. So they'll grab a water for themselves. And uh, they can discard a card to draw a card. They'll get rid of a reconnaissance to draw a new one. Blue's turn here. They will play Diplomacy. Are they going to go to Espionage? Maybe. They do. They deny the Espionage play. So they'll get a spy down. So with that, we'll probably end I up going secrets with public spectacle and uh, throwing in a worm. But we definitely want to throw in a worm here every time. We have a Dune Desert Planet here. Red can no longer uh, <laughs> go to Haga Basin. Uh, you definitely can't do that. Yep. Unfortunately, you cannot go to shipping unless you have two influence with the guild. Uh, so that was their plan on getting early Swordmaster. So they were really rushing Swordmaster here. Unfortunately, they can't do that now. Okay, they just grab a little spice, throw some troops in. Fair enough. I think we go Dune Desert Planet, throw the worm in, because worst case scenario, we're getting, you know, like two cards back. We might even win this. But I think second place is fine for us here. Yeah, we'll go Dune Desert Planet. We'll go here. Get ourselves a worm. Paying the water, of course. And yeah, hopefully nobody else commits too heavily here. And we do have a pretty nice entry card behind, uh, in case we do decide to win this. Red gets a spice. We do give Red a spice, too. But that's fine with me. Getting the worm is more value for me. Okay, we have our first interstellar trade play. So they will get a troop. They went to Arakeen, so they draw a card as well. They'll take the bump with the Fremen, but giving themselves the first victory point and potentially access the worms. They will also play Shaddam's favor to get an extra troop in, and they're just sending them all in here. Black Shadow commits everything to every combat. But we're just hoping for uh, second place rewards here, ideally. Okay, we have a uh, dangerous rhetoric here for blue. They're going to go to uh, Fremkit, draw some cards. Oh, I'm an idiot. Ah, oh, Fremkit. I'm so stupid. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> uh, we have a uh, dagger here to Assembly Hall. Okay, maybe they get a uh, nice buy here. I guess we'll see, won't we? Hi. <laughs> oh, God, I hate myself. Why do I hit V? Uh, so cringe. Where do we go here, though? Maybe Secrets. 
Blue didn't commit anything, and they did go before us. No actions left here, so we can pretty safely go here. Hooray. <laughs> uh, we will not pull back the spy. I think we hold it for our access for now. So we'll just gain the one. Uh, yep. Oh, special mission. Okay. So we'll hold on to that. We have a two, three, four, and a dagger. So nothing too good for them to buy here, unfortunately. Yeah, they just end up grabbing... Oh, they were considering the Molo Pistol. We'd love to hit six. But we didn't want to reshuffle this turn because we want to have our public spectacle on our deck. Spy Network comes off. Not a bad one. Pretty big reveal here. Two, four, five. Oh, they hit six. And they have two daggers. Surprised they didn't want to put a troop in here. But yeah, they get prices, no objects. So they have two power cards now. It's kind of scary. Luckily, this isn't a Fremen card, so it doesn't synergize super well with Steel Guard. But still, they're going to be a combat force. They reveal five. Double Agent comes off. Eh, it can be pretty good. We'd probably take Spy Network if it's uh, available to us. Not a bad card. Gets your persuasion up too. And it has a dagger, of course. They're thinking about it. Wait, no. They definitely did the spy second. <laughs> right? Am I crazy? No, they did the spy second. Okay, they do grab it. Not a bad one at all. So they do get to put a spy down with this. Could put it on the spice spot if they want to get more passive spice generation, but I don't think anyone's going to be going to the other ones as often as Haga Basin's going to be hit. They go down to uh, the Fremen. So that makes sense. New card comes off. Oh my god, Corinth City comes off. All the power cards. Holy crap. I wish we had more persuasion now. Damn. We have four. Ugh, do we take any of these? Double Agent is pretty nice for getting spies down. But we kind of want persuasion, right? I think um, getting one Ben and card in the deck isn't too bad for us here. So we might just do that. We could also get this down, which is pretty good. Although we don't want something with just blue access, I don't think. Yeah, we'll get it prepared the way. Let's try to get one of these nice uh, cost, big cost cards. So what are we at? We can get five. That would put us at the eight, so we wouldn't even be yellow. Okay. I think I'm satisfied with the two water, two troops here. It's pretty good value for us for just one more. Oh, they're going to play something here. It's still a good face down, is it? Do we want to play this to get two trashes from our deck? Oh, maybe. It's actually really good. Oh, oh, this is sick for us. So we don't even have to do that now. Oh, wow. Okay. Hell yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Red. Nice. So we get a free... Uh, oh, Red. Free second place. So they get to put their spy down for retreating. Jesus. Okay. So we get uh, two water, two spice, and we get the trash two cards, which is just sick. So let's see here. We actually, we have a decent amount of green access, right? And blue access. So I'll probably just get rid of both of my daggers here. We have green access there, green access there, green access there. The other one would be to get rid of our, yeah, let's just get rid of our non-persuasion cards here. We want to hit some big stuff now. Hell yeah. Very nice. We're feeling good. And that's another reason we didn't want to reshuffle. So we're at a 10 card deck now. We have bought stuff, so we got a very nice setup here. Uh, Shadow did get a match with the rabbit, so he will, uh, or the mice rather, so he will get another victory point. Oh, okay. We had the combo. What if we just go for a uh, research station here? Maybe. Next combat is protect the sieges. Another uh, non-walled combat, so we could send in a bunch here. This is not turned online because we didn't elect to pull back our spy, which isn't the end of the world. We have a signet ring here for Lady Margot Fenring. Where are you going to go? They pulled back their Arakeen spy and then they put it back down again. So they did draw. And they I think they did pay the spice to get the extra Solari. And they're going to put some troops in here as well. So another one it would be really nice to get a, a worm in for. It's just good value. We have a dagger here for our friend Staban Tuik. Where are they going to go? They do have two spies down on green. Okay. Do you pull the spy back? Okay. No. Where do we want to go here? Uh, I think we get the worm in every time. Just because uh, most of these wars are really great for us. And we might end up going uh, research station here. Yeah, we want to reveal these two, I think. So we will get another worm in. Nice value. We have a signal ring play here for... Uh, Shadow. They will get the water. Threatening a deep desert play now. They can put the troop in as well. The fact that they're not putting it in really tells me they are planning on going deep desert here. Oh, okay. And a Stilgar. So they'll go to Air Keen. They will Frank pull back Kane's this spy. By the way. And they will draw two. And they can put it... They get two troops from Stilgar here. So they're going to go heavy for this combat. Well, a little unfortunate for them. It doesn't match for them. Right? Green. Mouse. I wonder if this will dissuade um, Shadow here from going in on the uh, the worms. Uh, here we go. Submersive Advisor. Uh Oh, yeah, they don't actually have it down anywhere yet. Interesting. So they will get two troops for their garrison. 
and uh, not take the water. Interesting. Okay. Our move here, I actually really like the research station play. If we put in the two, we get three troops from that. We get to draw a bunch of cards, potentially get us to overthrow. And I think overthrow is just a win condition for us, right? And if we can win this combat, even better. It's the Fremen Alliance locked in. Yeah, I think that's just good. And if we win, we get the water back too. Worst case, we lose, we get six spice. So it's kind of a win, 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 win. Yeah, and we're starting out with five persuasion. The uh, question is, do we use this? Uh, every deck in our thing gets us at least one here. And we have two convincing arguments left. So most of the time, and we'll have six in, so that's six. So yeah, we're guaranteed to hit eight here. So we don't have to use our uh, special mission. Spend two. Get two true. Get two cards. Okay. Not ideal getting this, but it's okay. At least our diplomacy is still in our deck. We have a ton of persuasion here. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Once we throw these in. <laughs> I'm not used to the bulls moving around on me. So what does this put me up to here? Uh, nine? Do I go this hard for this combat? Perhaps. Uh, Black Shadow might put in two worms here, plus their one. We'd have to commit an intrigue card to win this. Is it worth? Is it that worth it for us here? Probably. Yeah, we'll do it. Because we'd want to put in a couple anyway just to get the six. So we might as well go for the victory. It's okay. We have a Dune Desert Planet here for Shadow. Do they put in the two worms? Do they just take all the spice? They take all the juicy spice. I like it. So they're going to be a highliner threat later. Big reveal here. Price is no object. A dagger. Oh, do they get to eight? They do. Uh, overthrow. Acquired. Scary stuff. And they get the entry card. Okay. And they go up to uh, 11 here. Reveal of five for red. So thank goodness for us. They can't actually afford Corin City. They might grab deliver agreement here. Corin City will be really nice for us too. Although obviously overthrow would have been better. Oh, okay. They grab. Do they have six? Oh, they do have six. Wow. Okay. And they don't grab Corin City. Very surprised by that. Junction headquarters comes off. I don't think this is a very good card. So we get a spy. Which we will want to put on a faction spot, especially with public spectacle. Uh, do we... I feel like we probably just want to put it here. Try to get our point later. Yeah, I feel like that's pretty good. So we'll probably... Uh, or maybe do to, maybe put it here. So we just have to go here once. It's not the best spot for us. Yeah, and then we can grab like deliver supplies contract with this. Yeah, I think that's fine. Although this is the more contested spy spot for sure. Uh, let's see here. We have a dagger. Now, I think we have to grab Corinth City. Ooh, that comes off. We can't afford it, though. Do we really want the spy here? That is the question. Ugh, this is the more contested one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, maybe I do go. Just get my point. Yeah, that's the more contested one anyway. Might as well keep our spy there while we can. Wheel of three for a shadow. They will grab double agent. So they will be able to put down spies easier. Starter card coordination goes off. Really solid card. Uh, so this combat, we do want to win. So we will play this. And we will drop down with the Benny. Gain five, which will put us up to 15. We really want the water back. Blue's thinking about it. For, uh, this advantage, yes, sir. Hey, we get it. Nice. So we get two troops back, two water, which is very important for us. And we get the alliance with the Fremen. So that's a point. Really big stuff. We have to remember that uh, Blue has overthrow, though. So it's still scary. We are going to have to protect that still. No one is safe in an overthrow game. But getting our water back is always good. Oh, this bowl is going to drive me insane. Okay, we get another unmatched card as well. I don't think anyone went here. Okay, Spice Refinery here. So looking like uh, Stabon will be getting their uh, Solari for Swordmaster. Next combat is uh, Spice Freighters, by the way, for a bump and three spice for a uh, victory point. We draw three. We get the reshuffle here. Ooh, Public Spectacle comes off. Okay, okay. Could go Espionage here. Draw some cards. I don't hate it. <sighs> Maybe try to hit a uh, Spice Before this round. It's not too bad. Yeah, I think that's just good. And then we can get another point uh, somewhere else. I do wonder if it's worth uh, just protecting my Fremen Alliance. Maybe it is. We don't have to worry about that just yet. We could also just grab more water, too, if we really want to get frisky with it. But I think denying... We actually don't have to deny it, but we could still. Do we want to get another worm into this one? It is two troops back. Yeah, it's probably worthwhile. Unfortunately, all of our faction access is here, so we won't get it later. But limping in worms is just a good strategy overall. And it gives us more persuasion, too. Yep. It's not broken. Don't, don't fix it. No walled combats yet. Diplomacy here. They are going to Highliner. And they will complete the Highliner contract, which will power up their uh, final delivery as well. So Shadow wins there. So hopefully this discourages um, Red from going any more into the combat. What is that? 14 for Shadow. 7 for me. Diplomacy here for Blue. They're just going to go to uh, deliver supplies, get a little water for themselves. See what Red decides to do here. Do they commit more troops or do they just chill? 
I think we do want to draw through our deck now because uh, we have our some of our power cards in our hand. And revealing Corgan City would be nice for us if we can draw into it. Saban, I don't think, has any good faction access yet, do they? I don't think so. They could go for a contract here, but they are going to take the spice. I don't really know what you need the spice for, but maybe they just want to get the troops in. Okay, we will go public spectacle. Luckily, they didn't put any more troops in, so they're not going to force us to make an opinion here. We do pull back our spy. We'll pay one. We get two. Oh, baby, there's a Corn City. That's what we want to see. Um, we get to uh, take one bump there. We will put the spy back, and we can take a bump anywhere now. Do we just take it with the many? I think we start working on over here. I don't think we ever want to go over here, do we? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's okay. Or do we want to protect our Fremen Alliance from an overthrow, Lady Margot? Ugh. Feels real bad. It's pretty threatening. Ugh. Yeah, I feel like we do have to protect our alliance. If they didn't have overthrow, we wouldn't have to do this, but I think we do. So maybe that discourages uh, Lady Margot from trying to challenge us on the Fremen. I think, uh, yeah. It definitely slows down our tempo, but I think it's a must. Um, otherwise, they're going to challenge us for sure. And this way, even if they do overthrow, it's such an easy way for us to stop it. So I think we end up investing less overall persuade and um, influence into the Fremen this way. Find a livery here for yellow. They Oh, shipping as well. Okay. They get a bunch of Solari. They get a double bump with the Emperor. So that's a point. A lot of faction access in this game. So we are unlikely to get more than one alliance for sure. Dagger here for blue. So they'll grab their uh, Swordmaster now. Reds reveal. Three and a dagger. Oh, two daggers, actually. All right, three. Yeah. Nothing too good for them here. They can get hidden missive or repair the way. We will reveal. So we have uh, seven Solari now. We have uh, two, four, six, seven to buy with our ability. I mean, this is such a good card. But so is Sardaukar coordination. I mean, this is also pretty good just for the reveal, right? Actually, a couple of decent options here. I don't think we're ever getting the alliance. But just revealing for uh, water and a troop is really good passive income. We don't have any discard mechanics in our deck, I don't think. So maybe it is Sardaukar coordination. Oh, this is really good for generation, though. Getting water and troops is pretty good. The access isn't great, though. We already kind of have that access. Getting more, um, really, between these two. Honestly, yeah. And this will be nice for getting more uh, faction access, too. Yeah, because we don't have our guild point yet, anyway. So we will go with this one. Oh, maybe. Strike Fleet. <laughs> um, so what is that? Seven, five. We are not going to buy anything else. We have a reveal of four and a dagger. So there, they will grab Sardaukar Coordination. We're really hoping that Lady Margot Fenry doesn't have five here. They are going to go to Research Station, though, and try to get it, I'd imagine. Oh, okay, never mind. They're just going to uh, grab their worm hooks here. Put some troops in, I'd imagine. They can't really put in many troops, unless they have an entry card. But they will pass. Nope, nope. Hold on, there's still a reveal to go. Hold on. Reveal of three and two. Okay, so that's nice. So at least they can't get this. This is like an SS tier card for them. I actually would have liked to have seen a Research Station play, I think, just so they can grab that. It's so good. But they do grab Covert Operation. I didn't okay. even see that come up. Red plays, red plays weirding. Okay. Four, six, nine. Yep. Okay. Yeah, they get it. They deny us there, too. It's a good denial. We'd lo really love that water. Yeah, I pass. Red, anything still? Okay. So they get their water back. I think that's a really good denial by them. So we get two spice, two troops. So it's not the biggest uh, thing. We just uh, lost the water on that trade. But we still got two spice. So it's like we hit this uh, pretty much. Yellow does win this. It's not a match for them, though. We do have uh, Swordmaster Solar here as well, which is kind of nice for us. Oh, baby, we get the Corn City again. I think we do grab uh, Swordmaster, though. We'll probably do it with this one, I'd imagine. It's the combat here. It is Test of Loyalty. All of the uh, non-worm combats coming in here. Oh, they also got the buy victory point as well, so they went up to six there. Huge stuff. Uh, do we go hard for this combat? This is a victory point combat for us. It gets us Solari as well. We can go... We actually don't have Swordmaster access. Stinks a little bit here. We could actually play this and get the point from it, too. Discard. But I think getting the Swordmaster is just better. Uh, do we want to take the Worm proactively here? Yeah, I think we do. Do we take it with our ring? Tough. Would we rather have Swordmaster first or this one first? Not clear cut. If we don't grab Swordmaster, Red will for sure. It's probably worth just grabbing it, right? And we do it with Corn City. Or though, if we do it without... Yeah, we actually, we don't. We want the Slarry. So we do it with our Signet Ring here. Get a troop. Eh, not easy. We could also just use this to get the passive uh, <laughs> high council. I don't think that's a good mid, though. Yeah, maybe go in Haga Basin here, getting the worms in for this victory point. It's pretty good. I don't know. I think I'm going to end up going the coward's way here. Uh, we don't. We have to deny worms, though. That's the downside. Yeah, I think we're going to end up forcing a deny on the worms because we can't let blue get them. It's too good. We, we have to pass up on our high count or sword master, but it's worth it. 
I think. So we get a worm, we get a troop, we send them all in. And we're threatening a uh, Highliner behind. Worst case scenario, we get a sh ton of Solari to fuel our Corinth city, which isn't bad. I don't think we commit any more troops. Okay. Space time folding. They'll get a water. They'll start working on getting a lance there. Shadow going for a pretty heavy tempo game here. They're going to hope they can close it out. They have uh, very little resources in reserve. See what Blue wants to do here. They could also go deep desert. Get a ton of troops in. ton of power. Which I don't hate. Looking like they're going to start out with an overthrow though. Go to espionage. Okay. We're going to get in this alliance. I like it. To, to draw one. Double bump. Which is also a point. And you know what? If we don't lock up our Fremen alliance, maybe they chase us there. So I'm glad we did now. Because we would not have been able to defend it on this turn. Oh, they'll put it over here. This is a threatening, uh, threatening move. We have a submersive advisor for red. They do actually get it off this time, so that will be a point for them. Oh, they're not going to pull the spy back. So it has to be two, and the top card gets trashed. Yep. Yeah, it's not an optional keep thing. Keep spy if you want. But yep, once you use it. So this is their only faction access, pretty much. And it is gone now, which is kind of scary for them. I don't even think they can get to uh, Highliner now with all that spice. Their spice is useless. A tragic uh, step on tour game where they have no access to Highliner or anything. All the spice, but nothing uh, in the world. You can draw a card. So somehow we actually get the sword match to come back to us, which is great. So I think we grab it here for sure, right? Uh, we grab it, we prepare the way, and then we can use Shred in the Darkness. Cool. Sword master required. Surprised uh, Red didn't want that. You could have went there too. So we do block Shadow here, which I'm sure he's not super happy about, but you got to expect us to uh, go there when it's available. Diplomacy here for yellow. They will go to secrets. Fair point. No one really going in for this combat, which is really nice. We're hoping red, uh, blue decides not to really go after it again. But they still have deep desert available to them. We have a signal ring here. Okay. Oh, they're going to go up to shipping. Pull back the uh, the spy for a card. They can pay three spies. Well, they have to pay three spies. Okay. Where are they taking their bump now? Maybe that's grabbing the alliance with the Benny. And they do. Okay. They get an entry card here. So they might have a lot of combat now. And they get to put a spy back on blue with their signet ring ability. Looking like they're going to put it on the Spice Refinery Research Station uh, intersection. Oh, never mind. Yeah, I like that spot better. But they're having second thoughts. Dagger here for red. They will go up here, Swordmaster, anyway, because they have the spy. So I guess it makes sense why they didn't go out of the way. So if blue goes deep desert here, that's six, ten combat power, which would put them ahead of me to win this combat. So we can't actually force this combat win at all, right? I mean, we could go Siege to Boar, get a troop, get a water. Not a bit option. We're pretty much just looking for things to do with this card here. I don't think we... We want to reveal this for the Solari, I think, right? We could also just send this over to Dutiful Service. It feels bad not getting the point from it, though. Yeah, let's just get a bunch of Solari so we can do this as much as we want. So I think a Tread into Darkness is going to be played. Do we go to Air Keen is the question. I don't think so. I don't think we want... We don't want to draw into our uh, our Spy card. It'd be really sad if we reveal it. So um, I'm liking Siege to Boar here. We could also go Spice Refinery. Grab the Solari and then use the Cordon City for it, but it also doesn't feel great. We have our Dune Desert Planet. Yeah, maybe we just go Tread in the Darkness. If we throw in the one more troop, that might disincentivize from going Deep Desert on us. And getting the water back is going to be good for us in the future anyway. Yeah, I think getting the water is just going to be good. And we don't want to draw too much, like I said. So we will go here. We will uh, trash a card from our hand. We'll get rid of our Dune Desert Planet. We have to draw a card. Okay. Don't mind seeing that at all. We get a water. We get a troop, which I think we just throw it in here. Force them to have the uh, the swords. And I think that is a wrap. Yeah. Reveal a uh, five and a dagger for yellow here. And they grab the strike fleet. So they are going to be a uh, combat force once again. And when you buy it, you get a spy, which I think is incredibly good. This card, I think this card would be good even if you didn't get the spy on buy. Just revealing it for three daggers is incredibly strong. But they will put the spy on the uh, on the green spots here. They just really want to guarantee their Swordmaster, I guess. But they are the last ones to get it, so it's pretty much a free spot. We don't have any of our friendship points, but hopefully our uh, other cards will help us with that. We will be drawing into our Diplomacy next round. Conflict 3s are on the horizon here, so I think it would be practical for Blue to not want to uh, commit too heavily to this. They also don't know what entry card we have. Oh, crap. They are going to go on on this, I guess. Oh, uh, yep. Deep Desert with... Uh, okay. They're going in. Double Worms. Okay. Good denial. But at least this will be turned on for sure. But at least we still have this too. And this is a really nice uh, mechanic for us here. So we are going to lose this one. What does this put up, up to? 
six, ten, fourteen. We have a priority contract on over to accept contract. Okay. They will grab deliver supplies. They get to see another one. High council. Ooh, high council's good. Probably grab that one. Yep, they grab that one. Passive bumps are always great in this game. Although they don't really have the Solari to support it right yet now, but Oh, immediate. That's an excellent one. They were really wanting to get that one. Too bad. Shadow's also really incentivized to get this one with their uh, Deliver Supplies card. They want completed contracts. We do reveal Core and City for five. And uh, well, we have two Persuasion. I don't think we're buying any of this stuff at this point. Our deck is looking very nice right now. We do not want to clutter it up. Blue to reveal. Six and a dagger. So they go up to uh, oop, 16. Am I at 11? Oh, yeah, I was at 11. They grab Junction Headquarters. Okay. So it is a nice... Resource reveal. Oh, baby. Steersman shows up. Holy come on. Okay. Wow, wow, wow. All the big uh, <laughs> all the big cards showing up this game. We have a reveal of uh, five and a dagger. And they will pull back one of their spies to get an entry card. I don't know if they had two or more on the board. They pulled it back pretty quickly, though. Okay, yeah, they did retreat, too. Yeah, with this card, you have to have two or more spies on the board, but you only have to pull back one to get the entry card. And they will leave the one in the Hogger Basin. That's been very nice income for them. Okay. Blue takes this one. They get the double bump. They get the two spies, they get the two Solari. We get eight Solari and two troops, though, which isn't too bad. So our Corrin City is generating points forever now. We go up to 14 Solari, which is uh, pretty excessive, but what are you going to do? And we're in a pretty good spot for this last combat here for this first tier three. We have a uh, Highliner Spice. Red does not have Highliner Axis. It is not a match for blue. And uh, Shadow is the first one up here. Okay, and the first combat is the battle for the Imperial Basin. It's not a match for us, so not that good. Not only is it not a match, we don't have the Spice to pay for all the... Uh, for the point, <laughs> if even if we did get it, so maybe we can limp in a worm. See what our hands looking like here. Okay, not bad. Uh, our last card, unfortunately, is the one that gives us the uh, double bumps here, so that's unfortunate. We still have a lot of points we have to go and get. That is for sure. The wall is still up though. Keep that in mind. Shadow is highly incentivized to go do the full service if they have access. It gives you the immediate contract for two Solari, which helps with your uh, deliver supplies card. That gives you one persuasion for every completed contract. It gives you the alliance. Just good overall. I don't know if they have the access, though. Could be a funny uh, denial for us if they don't have access, though. We'd actually, we'd probably like to go espionage. There's a point for us, and it lets us draw into our other card. Shadow is the only one without Swordmaster access, so they can go there as their second action. No one will block them this round. They just grab the spice first, okay, and they'll do it with a deliver supplies. Take the alliance with the guild. Go up to eight here. Pretty scary. We have an overthrow god in blue who might be able to take some alliances here. Well, I guess yellow only has one alliance. Blue, if they have Overthrow, really needs to go do to full service. It's such a good block. What's in our discard here? Ugh, nothing good. We really would ideally not reshuffle. Oh, Overthrow. Dang. I think this might be a mistake. I feel like you actually really needed to block dutiful service there. It gives you an alliance, too. I mean, I guess they want the water for a worm or something, but still. I don't know about that one. I think dutiful service was the play there, and you can grab immediate. Because now you just give uh, Shadow the alliance. We have a reconnaissance here. They'll go to research station. Get some cards. I don't think we protect our alliance either. If they want to come that hard after the Fremen, they can. Okay, so I think we do have to go uh, espionage, call back our spy here. Yeah, we do. Uh, the only downside is it costs us a spice. I mean, we could use this, actually. Hmm. It's awkward, actually. Well, actually, we only draw one with that, right? And we don't necessarily have to reshuffle, which is also pretty good for us here. So maybe we go secrets. Eh, this is tough. Or maybe we just don't pull back our spy. No, we really want to hit our spice with slow, though, right? It just sucks not being able to Highliner this round. Although, we were never going to win this one anyway, right? I don't think we had any plan of going Highliner. Because this is not a good combat for us at all, really. Yeah, I think we go for the good draw here. This is a setup round for sure. Okay. And we do pull back the Spy to reshuffle. So there is our Public Spectacle. We'll draw another one here. Oh, that's what we want to see. That's a great denial. If we can get there. We get a point. Put just at the five. And we can put a spy back down. Where do we want our spy? At this point, maybe Siege for the extra card draw? Or do we ever want to go back to Espionage? I think this is a nice bailout option for us. It's close, though. I don't think I want to go back to... Yeah. We'll let someone else get the, uh, the bonus Espionage stuff going. So now... Oh, wow. They didn't have access to Dutiful Service. So they will instead go Imperial Privilege here. So now we have to block it. And they will get rid of Detonation to grab a new one. So they have no interest in uh, blowing this wall this round. Oh, this is a nice synergy too. Corrin City with uh, Space and Guild's Fervor here. Beautiful stuff. 
Really hoping dutiful service is uh, available to us here. We'll see, though. And uh, Shadow did pull back the spy on the Imperial Basin. Makes sense. Or the agent, rather. Okay, we have a reconnaissance here uh, for Blue. Two of them. Maybe a research... No, they can't go research station. They're going to go air key and draw. Okay. They're not satisfied with their current hand, it seems. So this is nice for us. This means we can definitely get Corden City off this round. Start getting some victory points that way. And they will uh, limp in a troop. You sure you bought one? I know I definitely did buy one. Maybe you thought you did? Uh, I don't know. Like, I know 100% I bought this. Okay, I'm not sure what Red's doing here. They're trying to finagle themselves to get a double agent into their deck or something, but probably can't do that. Okay, we have a signal ring here for Red. Where are they going to go? They'll go to Spice Refinery. Okay, they'll get a little more Solari for themselves. And they'll put in a couple more troops here. Yeah, I do think it's important for them to win this combat, for sure. I don't think we go after this one. I think we set up for the next one. Don't know what the Solar is doing for them. Maybe they're setting up for the next one. Anyway, Corn City here has to be the play. It also denies Shadow the Alliance play this round, which is pretty funny. I mean, they could always go um, Sardaukar, I will say. But we can't take the immediate, which is good. We would discard, what, this, and then volley play, uh, get rid of one of these. Yeah. Head on over here. Get a point. Grab immediate. For an immediate two Solar. Uh, oh, here are the rest of the contracts. The next one off is Research Station. Uh, we can discard two cards and pay five Solari. So we will discard this. And I guess it doesn't matter. Which would I rather have access to? Probably, yeah, I'll get rid of the Reconnaissance too. And pay five. Move up to six here. And uh, let's see here. Core and City point. There we go. Love to see it. We have a starter car here for yellow. Yep, okay. So they do get the starter car off. Which is an alliance, which puts them at the nine, which is quite scary. I don't think they have a way to get to uh, ten, though. They get the entry card. Two alliances for yellow. Wow. This card's been doing work. With shipping as well. Nobody has spice, though, that can go to Highliner. So we're in good shape if we can get there next round. Scary stuff. Threatening to end this game so fast. Okay, we have a prepare the way for blue. So they are starting to draw into some of the worst cards in their deck. Their deck is very big, despite it being pretty good. They get to draw a card because they are at uh, two persuasion with the Benny. I don't think they grabbed their troop or water yet. They're electing not to break the wall, which I am fine with. Do they commit more troops here, I wonder? They put in three. Okay. Do they put them all in? Interesting, they do. For five spice. It's actually not too bad for them because they get that spice anyway. We have a Dune Desert Planet here for red. They are just going to go collect a little more spice. Put another troop in. I feel like we probably just come in... So, if we go Highliner, pull back, um, it gives us two influence, which is great. There's a points. And it gives us the opportunity to deny blue, which is also a big deal here. The only downside is we miss out on the water. And how big of a deal do we think the water is in this game? Maybe not a huge deal. We are also the last to move, right? We're the last ones with an action. Yeah, so we can come over blue here hard. Mm. All of this to deny blue to spice. I don't know if that's worth it. Don't know if it's worth it at all. I actually don't think it is, yeah. Because uh, blue gets the Highliner Spice regardless of what we do here. And unless, uh, yeah, yellow can't even go in now. So I think we hold on to our garrison troops. If we don't overcommit, we just take the water here. I think that's fair. The only downside is um, we don't really have Highliner access next round early, right? So pulling back our Spice can be pretty big for us here. So we'll go here. Go here. We'll pull back our Spy. Unfortunately, it does remove our access, but we kind of want to get this off. So Signet Ring is not what we wanted to see. Uh, we do get the point here. We will take the bump up over here with that card. So that'll put us up to seven. And uh, hopefully we can cycle back into this, maybe. Yes, we'll see. But yeah, no troops into this one. We have uh, two, four, persuade or three persuasion here for yellow. So they're not getting anything out of this round. So the game will continue another round. We have to hope that blue misses on their uh, faction access to Highliner next round. They grab Smuggler's Harvester. Okay. Weirding Woman comes off. That won't be relevant. I wonder if blue has enough for the uh, Steersman here. That would be Highliner access. You probably go for the Spice Miss Flow if you have it, though, with blue. And they drew so many cards this round. They play... Ooh, a Detonation to get a bunch of troops in here. Okay, they're going to deny blue. And they'll also play Distraction to get a Spy down. Oh, they take the Highlander. Spy Spy. Okay. Interesting. wonder why they didn't commit all the troops here. They don't think they can be blue, I guess. And, I mean, I guess they'd be right. Pretty big reveal here. Unfortunately, two, three, four, five, and they drew their Highlander access for next round. So that's pretty good for us. I don't think they have any other, if I'm remembering correctly, but I could be wrong. Really unfortunate they couldn't play this either. This is a uh, this is a point if they play it, but maybe they can cycle back into it. The only downside is their deck is so big, and they're still buying Prepare the Ways. I think you don't want to... I think their deck may have gotten a, away from a bit here. We have two daggers here for red, so they are certainly going to win this one, which will be a, a two-point combat for them. So not the end of the world. Red was pretty far behind anyway, so if anyone had to win this, it, we'd rather it be them. 
We have a reveal of four here. I don't think we're buying any of these, right? No, nah, our deck's too good. We want to cycle back into Corn City and stuff too. Up, uh, I toss. Okay, yellow passes. Does blue pass? It'd be crazy if blue could actually take this combat. Blue passes. Okay, red gets this one. Very nice for you. So uh, three spice here for Shadow, five for blue, and uh, two victory points for red. Catches them up a little bit, but not enough. I think red's pretty pretty out of this one. And I think somebody put in the uh, the maker spice. Not wrong. We have this uh, tasty little combo here. Please, Highliner. Oh, baby. We get there. We get there. One, two, three. So now we just got to hope that blue in particular did not draw Highliner access somehow. I don't think they should have it, but you never know. Yep, this is the uh, tier three we've been, we've been wanting for sure. And the wall is still up. Important to keep note of that. We're hoping it's not the uh, one that gives multiple bumps here. It is not. Battle for Spikes Refinery. That's a great one for us. We have a lot of extra Solari too. And we have the mouse. So we'll see, does blue have access to Highliner? Or, and a lot of this game is gonna depend on this. Their overthrow and diplomacy is in their discard. So unless they put another one with Highliner access, we should be okay here. Ooh, okay, we have a cover operation to Sardaukar. So they're gonna get some troops and garrison here. And are they gonna pull back the spy? They do pull back the spy. So now we have to give it uh, to something I'm here. I'm sure, because... Probably yeah, reconnaissance. If, if that's the case, then cool, but... Yep, everyone has to give it a one. And they will start to chase blue here a little bit. Four troops and garrison, so they're gonna try their best here compete on this combat to get an entry card. So they are four now, so they are gonna wanna drop one if they can. They can play one. Overthrow is still in their discard, so Shadow doesn't have much to worry about here. And they'd have to hit a one in 10 to actually draw the thing. Oh baby, buy access comes off. <laughs> okay. Are they gonna chase us on the Fremen? Maybe. And uh, we cannot defend, I don't think. It's too slow. So they have us there if they want it. They have to choose two though, so they can't take them both there. Well, we're across from the board, so. But I know I bought mine. Red's still talking about not getting that card as a bug. I'm going to have to go back through this footage and check. <laughs> I'm so curious now. I feel like they didn't. I don't remember them buying it. So maybe they're confused. Oh, baby. Shipping. So they're going to steal one of our alliances here. And I think we can... If they steal ours, we drop back down to seven. But this is potentially, what, a one, two, three, four point victory for us. So we would still be able to cross if we can win this with Worms in. Red will discard a convincing argument. Okay, we have a, a priority contracts for Red here, so they're never getting this off. They'll just get a high council, try to get a Spice Miss Flow, I guess. I don't think we protect our alliance here, though. We're also going to get a point back from the guild, so it's not a big deal. They do pick up the research station contract, which uh, they don't have the water to go to, unfortunately. Harvest for three comes up. Very completable one, but at this stage, probably not getting played. The play is very straightforward here. It's going to be Highliner. Um, oh, yeah, Blue never paid their Spice. Fair enough. I don't hate going Prepare the Way first. We could go Prepare the Way to Siege. Because Highliner is still available to us. And we'd have to... Does Yellow have a Spy down? They do. So they could potentially get to Highliner if they have a way to get one more Spice. Do we gamble on that, though? The thing is, um, Blue is more incentivized to take away Yellow's Alliance than ours. Unless Yellow goes to defend. And, but if we go Highliner, maybe they're more likely to battle us. So that part is tough. If Yellow has a way to get Spice, though, we're, so, we're screwing ourselves so hard by not going Highliner. So I think we just go Highliner here. We have to. Gives us our point, too. It's too big of a risk. There are cards that give you spice in this game, and we would just die if we did. So we pay one, two, three, four, five. Get one, two, three, four, five. Plus our two from uh, Garrison. Gets us up to, uh, what is this? Seven? So 14. So blue probably takes our lines now, but nothing we can do about that. We do get a point as well, right? Or no? Did I already take that? Space and Guild Friendship. No, maybe we didn't. Maybe we were at seven. Maybe someone already gave it to us here. We have a Sardaukar contract pickup here for yellow. So they protect their line. So blue is going to steal ours, which is not a big deal. Should I be one point ahead? I have five from Faction Tracks. Corn City. Yeah, I guess this is accurate. Okay. So blue can steal our alliance whenever they want. And we can, uh, we're pretty much just not protecting. It's fine with me. I think we're going to get this victory for like free. Yeah, it actually only makes sense for blue to steal our alliance because they can't even steal yellows anymore. Oh, still guard time. Are right, they going to come after us? We'll go to Frem Kit, take our alliance. So they move up one. We lose our Fremen Alliance token, unfortunately. And they'll put in some troops here. We can put in four. Blue goes up, we go down. Are we really at six? Yes, we are. Yikes. We have our friendships and no alliances <laughs> and no other points. Oh, wait, no, we should have our objective point, right? And we have every friendship for. Yeah, we should have one more. I'll figure it out in a sec. Where did red go here? Uh, they went to Spice Refinery, so they're just getting more Solari for themselves. Fair enough. So yeah, we should have the Fremen point, two, three, four. Yeah, we should have four friendship points, and we're missing one. They will put a spy down in the Benny, 
and they can pay uh, two Solari for an entry card. Now let's see here. We have Benny. Oh, yeah, we never took our Emperor Friendship Point, so we actually are at seven. Okay. Do we tread into darkness now, or do we wait? I don't think we care about the trash too much. I feel like we should just guarantee that we get all these worms in, right? It's just so good for us here. What's stronger, though? Going research station into Haga? We're getting the two worms. That is tough. I think we just break the wall here, though, right? Yeah. Blue can still come after us here, but they shouldn't. I hope they can't beat us here. It is scary, though. Do they ever just collect the spice here? I don't think so. So we can go prepare the way research station. Shadow can deny us worms, and blue can deny us worms. Do we still win even if we get denied worms, though? We still get three points, which would put us up to ten, which is still a victory. Yeah, we only lose one point by not. And I think denying research station, considering it's, like, blue's biggest point of uh, troops right now, is the most important thing. We actually we need to win this combat. And if they can go to research station here, we get totally screwed. So I think this is fine. And then if we get worms, that's the icing on top here. Yeah. Yeah, I like that play. And you never know, we might be able to get some uh, stuff out of this. So that is our only spy, so we have to hold on to it. So we will pay two, get two cards. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Yeah, that's not as relevant, but still pretty good. Um, we get two troops. We will put them in. Put us up to 18. I think that's it. Oh, we get to draw a card for our uh, prepare the way as well. We have an Imperial Privilege here for the Shadow, so he will uh, get the draw card here. Oh, we did it with uh, Strike Fleet, too. I think. Maybe not. So he gets three troops in Garrison. And he will play... Oh, I'll get rid of Counselor's Ambition to uh, get something else. Fair enough. So hopefully our Research Station play kind of took the sail out of Blue's... Uh, took the wind out of Blue's sails here. Because the wall is still up. They may have been holding onto a way to get more troops in. They might have the one that breaks the wall and puts a worm in. Which would be scary. But you can't play around everything in this game. So how heavy does Blue want to commit here? Because if they actually don't commit here and we win this combat, we can score an insane amount of points. And we have to remember, too, we have one with uh, Gurney's ability. So we are at nine right now. And then we can buy the Solari for this point. So, yeah, we'll see. A lot of options available to us. It'll really depend on what Blue decides to do here. And we're seeing, a, I'm seeing a signal ring here. Okay. Hopefully they just go... Oh, Arakeen is exactly what I want to see. So they can get a couple more troops in here, but nothing major. They draw one. Okay, it's official. Lock it in. They get to put in a total of three here. So they are at 14. And they have three entry cards behind, which is scary, for sure. We have a Dune Desert planning here for red. They are just going to go on down to the Imperial Basin, get some spice for themselves. No troops to put in, however. Ooh, they also play contingency plan to get a little more Solari for some reason. Okay. So now, um, we can reveal Corrin City to buy the High Council seat. So that is fine. Or we can just... Yeah, we can either honestly do it either way. Because if we win the combat, we can also just buy two victory points from the combat with the extra Solari. So either way, we're good. Uh, so I think we go Tread into Darkness, Deep Desert, pull back our Spy, and send in two Worms. Maximize our chances of winning this combat. Blue has no... Actions left, so we will play this now. We will pull back our spy. We get two spies. Yeah, it had to be that. Otherwise, why would you not pull the spy? Is the only thing that made any sense? So yeah. So the wall dies. We can now play. I think we play with this one. Yeah. We'll reveal that one. Head on over to here. Or actually here. Whoops. We'll get one spice. Uh, we get a worm. We get to trash a card. And draw a card. Okay. And this will put us, what, up to 21? Okay. Hopefully that's enough. We would have to have some very, very potent entry cards here. We have a Mahler pistol. A yellow. So head on over to Siege Tabor, get a troop in, limp in for tiebreaker spice. Blue reveals one dagger. So they go up to 15. They have two, four, five, six. No spice was slow. Looking like they might buy a delivery agreement, I guess. How many contracts do they have? Only one. So it doesn't do that much. Oh, they also had a <laughs> they also had a special uh mission here. Interesting. So they could have gotten the spies in. Wow. 
They will also play. Oh, baby. That's why they didn't want to spend the stuff. So they get two victory points out of that. That's huge. I think it still would have been worth. I think this is a, still like a losing play, though, just because you sure you get the points, but you never win the game like this, right? You have to win the combat and deny me. So they go up to nine. Tied up with yellow. They have no resources behind there, so they will lose on tiebreakers. They will reveal this. Pull back one of their spies for an entry card. They will play Manipulate to remove a card from the row and acquire it. <laughs> so, I don't know what they're doing. So they still have two Persuasion left. They could grab this. It's kind of just a waste of time at the end of the game, though. The game does end this round. They must realize. They're still buying stuff, though. Having the time of their life. Imperial Spy Master comes off. Not relevant. Okay, I guess they... Oh, they had a High Council as well. Okay. Penetration Operative comes off. We will reveal... We have uh, two, four, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Just in case we lose the combat. We'll take our Spice Must Flow point. Gets us up to eight. And then we won't pay this. It doesn't do anything for us. Okay. Starting with blue. Pass. Okay, we win it. Hell yeah. So what is this? Uh, four points? We have a worm in. We just pay the six. And we get the match. So yeah, we go up to 12 with that one. Oh, baby. You'll love to see it. What a game. Nice little combat strategy. And that's why it shows uh, it's so good having all these extra resources built up for the last round combats. We were, of course, lucky to get our diplomacy there. Um, we did buy extra sources of um, Highliner access, to be fair. So we, could, we always had the option to go research station. Most of our cards had blue access to try and hit some of these cards, but still really nice for us here. Looks like red did have an end game with um, some of their stuff here. So they got two from that, actually. Not bad. Thank you. And uh, yeah, Black Shadow gets second. Blue gets third. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care.